JEA moves ahead with plans to look for a potential buyer. 16 companies submitted bids to do that, and now only nine of those companies are moving ahead to the next phase. News from Jack's reporter Jim Pickett joining us live at JEA headquarters to show us what happens now. Jim? Well, Ken, I want to kind of go over this list because we now have those nine names of those companies in front of us here. American Public Infrastructure, that's a water company. American Water Works uh, Company as well. Duke Energy, very popular energy company, Amera Inc. Then JEA Public Power Partners. Uh, that's a, a group of investors that want to possibly get involved in JEA. IFM uh, Investors, and then Macquera Infrastructures and Real, Real Assets. And then Next Era Energy, that's FPL as well. And then there was one respondent that chose not to have its name released. Those were what were announced today, but now we're moving on to the next phase. Requirements. In a very sterile meeting, this group announced who's moving ahead in the negotiation phase. There was no discussion. Each member looked at the bids alone and then separately submitted them and then turned them over to the evaluation committee. Moving ahead in the negotiation phase are Duke Energy and FPL, plus seven other companies that met the requirements. I tried asking the VP of Legal Affairs for JEA about why they're keeping this all so secret what's contained in those discussions will not be public. Right. Shouldn't they be public though? This is a public utility. Why isn't it public? Only well, what is in the replies is not public. But don't you think the public would have a right to know what JEA is negotiating? I mean, this is the city's biggest asset. So everything will be in accordance with the public procurement process, the competitive solicitation. So to the extent permitted by law, things will be public and to the extent they are not, they will not be. So now, as they move ahead, they will discuss price, but not publicly, and we won't know until February which company might be considered. I know that whole secrecy behind all of this really has people upset, but know this too, that anything JEA decides will still have to be approved by the city council. We'll know more information then, and then, in the very end, any possible sale that has to be approved by voters. We're live at JEA headquarters downtown. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.